Good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? Today, we're going to discuss together the first conditional. Okay? If you study hard, you will pass the exam. Pay attention to the, this sentence. We have here F. You study, study. Okay? Then you will pass the exam. Pay attention to the first part. Okay? If you study hard, it refers to what here? If you study hard, it refers to something you could do. Something you could do. We can study hard, all of us. Okay? Then, you will pass the exam. Okay? Something that could happen. Something that could happen. If you study hard, you will pass the exam. So, if we have F plus something you could do, like studying hard, okay, and then something that could happen if you study hard, you would pass the exam, okay, that's the first condition, something you could do, plus something that could happen, huh? the first condition, yeah, in this sentence, okay, here I'm not sure, 100%, but, there is a big chance that you or I will pass the exam if you study hard, okay? I'm not sure 100% that I pass the exam, but there is a big chance that this something will happen, okay? There is a big chance that you will pass the exam because you study hard. Okay, so pay attention to the four. We have F, we have here study, present simple. Then we have will plus the infinitive. What is the infinitive? The verb without in addition, okay? Without S, without E, without ING, okay? That's the four. Again, think about this sentence. If you study hard, you will pass the exam. What is the use of the first condition, if I have present simple, then will plus the infinite. Okay, what does this sentence refer to? What does the first condition refer to? Yeah, it refers to future possibility. Yeah, future possibility. Yeah, that's it. If you study hard, you will pass the exam. Okay, that's it. Okay, now let's go to page 102. Okay, your class book, page 102. Okay, first conditional. Okay, the first conditional is used to talk about things which might happen in the future. Okay, that's the use. Okay, and we have here. Some examples, if Ahmed studies hard, he will pass his exams. If Ahmed passes his exams, he will get his degree. Okay, if you go to Malaysia, okay, you should see the elephants. Okay, pay attention, we have here F, okay, F. Then we have studies, present sentence. Then we have will plus a verb without condition. Again, if Ahmed passes, okay, he will get if you go present simple with I V U A, okay, the verb without any additions, okay, and we use here, okay, should, okay, instead of will, and it works also, okay, that's it. Okay, now let's discuss some exercises about first conditional. Look at the picture. Read the sentences, okay? If I study hard, I'll pass my exams. If I pass my exams, I'll get my degree, okay? If I get my degree, I can get a job and make a lot of money. Task B, okay? Check the sentences that include a conditional form, 
Okay. How to decide if it's a sentence that includes a conditional form or not? Okay. Now we said if it's a conditional, it must have at the beginning. If. Okay. Then, as for the first conditional, okay, present. Temple. Then, will or can or should plus be in the okay. The first one doesn't have if not no. Okay. The second one we have if we have present here. Then we have will be so it's conditional. Okay. Three. Yeah. If or present simple. Then we have should plus. Yeah, and so it's also conditional. Okay, the next one for my little. Yeah, we have here if. Okay, so it's conditional. We'll cry. Cry. Okay, five. Is it conditional? No, because it doesn't have if. You should definitely see the elephants if you go to Malaysia. Okay, it's a conditional because we have if then present simple. Okay, then we have should plus e m so it's conditional. Okay, the next task, page one hundred three, one hundred three. Before going to page one hundred three, we have PowerPoint presentation again to revise together the first conditional, the use, the for, and some. Um, okay, we have first conditional. Okay. It should be something if I study hard, I will pass my exams. Okay, study will pass. Okay, then next one, I will pass my exams if I study hard. Okay, as we discussed, we have here present simple study. Okay, then we have future simple. Okay, will pass, and we said also that we can replace will. With, can, or, should. Okay. The use. Okay, we use it to talk about possible situations, okay, and their consequences in the future. Okay, we have here plus. An affirmative sentence, an affirmative conditional, okay, minus a negative conditional. If I don't study, I won't pass my exams. Don't study present simple negative, won't pass future simple negative. We have here question, if I study, will, will I pass my exams? Okay, it's kind of Okay, then it's back to our PDF, our class book.
uh, page 103 class C match the sentence halves one half and another half they are halves okay if you go to Europe which one yeah you can see beautiful okay all bills okay that's number one okay two if he goes to the beach okay which one yeah he can swim okay three go hiking yeah you will get most of the mountains if they are out of Okay, which one? Yeah, the next one. Five. And the next one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, now open your workbook. First conditional. Page, page 56, okay, you can do it yourself at home, page 56, okay, check, if it's a conditional or not, then plus B in the text and then write the sentences that have first condition, okay, you can do the page yourself at home, okay, let's go to the next page, Okay, we write the two sentences by using the word if to form the first condition. By the text, you may, okay, by the text, okay, you may win the prize, okay, you win the first condition, okay, as we did, okay, uh, if something you could do and something that could happen, so we can for, okay, the first conditional with F, so we can start with if, yeah, if, 
Okay, then present simple the verb after if is in the present simple. So if you buy ticket. Okay, you will or may, you will, we can also use may, okay, may, will, uh, can, should, they are the same in the first condition, okay, you may win the prize. Okay, the next one, try using this spice in the recipe, it will be more delicious. Yeah, as you usual, start with if you try, if you try using this. Five. Okay, we complete the first part. Okay, it yeah will be something complete. Okay, that's it. Uh, try three or five. Try doing them yourself at, at home also. Okay, has to be also the same. Complete the sentences. So they are true for you. Okay, that's the first condition. That's our lesson for today. Uh, thank you. See you next session, inshallah.